Now we've seen over the last year, 3D printers print faster than ever before. We're talking about speeds from 200, 300, all the way up to 600 millimeters per second. And if you think about acceleration, 20,000 millimeters per second acceleration, that's moving from one point to another, super duper fast. And today we're gonna to take a look at one of the printers that we reviewed on the channel for quite some time now, and is also in this high speed category. We're talking about the Flash Forge Adventurer 5N Pro. This printer prints fast, and not only does it print flat, super fast, it prints quiet. We're talking about 50 dB quiet, which means that this printer is really well suited for the home. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now there are several features that you're gonna like about the Adventure 5N Pro. Uh, one of them is its simplicity of use. We're talking about unboxing, removing a couple screws, and you're able to use this printer almost immediately. It has one-click auto bed leveling, which is one of the most challenging parts of having a printer, getting the leveling right. The other thing is that this printer is more of an appliance. This is something that you could have in your kitchen. This is something that you could have anywhere in your home. As a matter of fact, when we take a closer look at it, we're gonna see it in my kitchen. We actually ran this printer in our kitchen as we were having dinner, and it was white noise. It was not like some of the other printers that we have that make a lot of noise, either because of the fan or because of the movement. It was super quiet, 50 dB quiet. The other thing that it has is one of the easiest removal systems for nozzles. It has a quick swap feature that allows you to change from one nozzle to the next. And that is something that I appreciate a lot because I don't have to take out any tools or screwdriver. The nozzle itself, you can go from 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, and they have other sizes that you could just swap out if you'd like. Now, this printer is gonna be able to print a lot of different material because of the temperature that the nozzle could reach. We're talking about 280 C with the bed temperature of 110. Now, we did say that it's fast. We're talking 600 millimeters per second fast and it will maintain quality. We have a lot of prints that we're gonna share with you that actually show that. 20,000 millimeters per second acceleration, a bed size of 220, 220 by 220, and it has a touchscreen that makes it really simple to use. Now, one of the things I love about what FlashForge has done with this printer is that they're really listening and seeing what's going on in the market. They do have their own proprietary flash print software, but one of the things that really struck me is that included with the actual software was a Orca profile. You heard that right. So this works with one of the most popular upcoming slicers for 3D printing, Orca. And that's something that really floored me. It also has a onboard camera, which is great quality, PEI sheet, which makes it really easy for, uh, let's say, items to stick and to remove really quickly. And the camera itself does support time-lapse capability. So if you'd like to get some time-lapse done, you'll be able to see that as well. It does have a filament runout sensor and then it also has an air filter and HEPA filter with a carbon filter as well. So the filtration system that it has is gonna be great and it's gonna be really keeping you in mind when it comes to peace of mind. Hence, you know, being able to use this in an open space in your home. It's literally, if you were to think about a microwave, if you were to think about anything that you would just push a button and go to and walk up and, and have something done, this is what this thing is really designed for. Now, because of the bed temperature, it's gonna be able to print a lot of different materials and the nozzle, obviously. PLA, which is what everybody prints, ABS, ASA, PETG, TPU, PLACF, and PETGCF. So you have a whole bunch of different pieces of, I would say, material types that you can work with. So let's take a look at some of the prints and you'll see what my observation was. Now we've been doing a lot of printing with the Adventure 5 and we used up the filament that was included to run all the models that were inside of the uh, printer itself. A couple things that I will mention is that first of all, the printer does not have, as I was using it, it does not have a retraction feature when, it, when you wanna switch filament. So I just wanted to show you this filament swap. Uh, basically what you do is you cut off the filament and then you basically feed the filament through until there's no more filament and then you put the new filament in. So there's no retract feature and I found that interesting. And then this is the waste that we actually uh, got out of it when we were switching filaments. So you can see the one filament that was purged out and then the new filament as it went in. So that was pretty interesting. Now, this is a, our Benchy, and this Benchy printed super fast, and you can see uh, the overall quality of the Benchy is really, really nice, and no defects, and for, for the speed, this did really well. Uh, we're actually using this printer um, to print items that we have for our Etsy store, and you can see the overall quality that you get with that Benchy. So this is the benchmark, right? And we're talking about a super fast Benchy. 
Uh, the other thing we did is we were looking at this fidget uh, print that was part of it. And again, this is using the same filament. And this was a print in place. And you can see that the tolerance levels, everything is really nice. Everything moves, everything functions. And the quality is just spectacular. You can see what that looks like right there. Now, the next thing we did is we printed out um, a cube. And this is one of their test cubes. Interesting. It's not the XY cube. It's kind of a short stubby cube, but the quality uh, came out nice too. And again, great first layers. And it, the PEI sheet does really make a difference. Uh, the next thing we did is we printed out this gingerbread man. And the gingerbread man, you can see what the back looks like, nice and clean. And then you can see what the front looks like. Uh, and this is gonna be your cookie cutter. Uh, the last thing that we printed was this vase. Now, this vase is not complete. This is not a super gripe, but I didn't have enough filament. Now keep in mind, that the only thing I ran on this printer were all of the models first. And I tend to do that with the existing filament that comes in the roll. But guess what? The existing roll doesn't have enough filament to even print the models that are in the uh, onboard memory. That was a little disappointing to me. I would have liked to have been able to print this completely. And you can see how it ended here and it didn't complete. But the inside, you know, for this, uh, for this I would say, vase is pretty spectacular. You can see what the bottom layer looks like and how I print all the way inside, and I love the actual just uh, color of this material. But what was disappointing was I didn't have enough material or enough filament to print the full thing. And all I did was print all the models. So let's take a closer look at the printer, and I'll show you some other things that we're printing, functional prints that we're printing uh, for our Etsy store, and you'll see why I really like this printer. It's quiet, it's an appliance-like solution, it's easy to use, it has a great touch button screen, it supports Orca, which is something that is one of my favorites. And again, it's, it's, it looks good. Let's check it out. Now we're checking out the Adventurer 5M Pro and you'll notice that I don't have it in one of our dedicated spaces for 3D printing. Rather, we have it in an open space. And matter of fact, we have it in our kitchen. And that's because this product, the Flash Forge solution is really targeted for those that would like to have an appliance-like printer. And I truly mean this. This is the closest thing to an appliance when it comes to the convenience, the reliability, and then also when it comes to the overall performance. This thing is super quiet too. And you'll see once we start running some of the prints on this, you'll see how quiet this printer uh, prints. Now, a couple things that we'll highlight. First of all, it is a fully enclosed printer, right? Front, top, and the sides. It does have a very convenient door that allows you to open and close. You'll notice that it is lit. The actual bed itself is magnetic. And again, your prints are going to stick. I have used no glue, no adhesive, nothing to get, you know, to put on, on this bed to make it work. Things just stick. And you'll notice that also from, a, from the dimensions as we talked about, it's not the largest build plate, but it's large enough for, I would say, for someone who would like to be able to print um, some, let's say, some miniatures uh, or do some prototyping. Uh, definitely from a cosplay perspective, I think it's going to be a little bit hard. If you want to print like a dice tower for D&D, that's going to work well. But if you're going to do a full-size helmet, unless you have a smaller head or you do it in slices, it's going to be difficult to put on this build plate. But again, that's going to depend on, again, the size uh, of your head and the type of uh, unit that you're going to be printing. Now, to give you a sense of how quiet this runs, Anilda and I were having dinner, our family was having dinner, uh, and we had the printer printing, and we couldn't even hear it. I want to show you what the idle sound is. So, the printer's on, and I'm going to stay quiet, and you're going to be able to see the decibel readings. There's a lot of, I would say, white noise in the house, so I'm going to stay quiet. All right, now you saw that, super duper quiet. Once we start seeing the prints going, we're gonna see how it sounds. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the menu and then we'll look at other aspects of the printer. Now, one of the things I like about this printer is that it does have a proprietary software that you can run to use uh, the printer. And one of the things that I, I, now one of the things I like about this printer is that it comes with support of Orca Slicer right out of the box. So the actual USB stick that comes with the print files actually has the Orca Slicer settings and it almost has like a runtime version of Orca too. So that's really nice. Now the menu, a couple things we have. We have the home settings, you have your print function and you can see we've been doing a lot of prints. And I'm going to show you how much we've been printing. We've been putting this printer through the paces. We not only have been printing 
you know, just things that are fun, but we also have an Etsy store. So we've been printing a lot of our Etsy store products right here on the printer. So here you can see that you have your filament. One of the things that I noticed about this is that there's no retraction setting for removing filament. You actually cut the filament and then you basically allow it to purge the filament that's inside of the nozzle. And then what you would do is you would continue to feed the new filament. That's something that we talked about. In addition to that, here you have, again, some of your settings where you have your position, you have your Wi-Fi. I'm going to just continue to go through it. You have the ability to connect to your flash cloud or also Polar 3D. Over here, you can actually go through your, um, again, your leveling and vibration settings. So this is, especially since this is running super fast, this is something that you would do if you found any kind of defects or, you know, some quality issues. You have two internal or, or, or ways that you can do filtration. You have internal circulation filtration and external circulation filtration, right? So depending on the type of material that you're printing and what you want to do, you could do that. You also then have your camera here. So I have my camera settings, my video settings, pictures and video. If I go into the video, you'll notice that I have all these different videos that have been recorded. If I go here and I hit play, you're going to see here are, is one of the caddies that we print. This is something that we actually uh, have in our Etsy store, and you can actually see it uh, in real time or you know, after the recording, you can actually just play it. So here's another uh, one that we'll play, so you can see this. This is another part that we print on our Etsy store, and this one took an hour and two minutes to print. And as I look at, I have several printers in my home. I have also a lot of bamboo printers. And this is one of the few printers that I can say is giving me quality near, very, very close to a bamboo. And this is very important to me because as we post items on our store, we want all of them to look the same so you could get that kind of quality. Now in the menu area, now in this information area, you have a couple settings that you can work with. You can see the name of your printer. You can see if there's a firmware update, there's logs here. You also then have the filament detection where you can enable that. You can also have it auto shut down as well as get after sales support and see the maintenance guide. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the other aspects of the printer, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna run something to print. I'm gonna come down here. Uh, we've been printing a lot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a Benchy because hey, that's what a lot of people like to print. We've shown you the quality and we're gonna select this. It's gonna tell us, again, a lot of details about the print. This is a preloaded Benchy that we have on here. It shows you the image of it, and then we'll see how this printer starts up. Now, when you start every print job, this printer does heat up very fast. So your nozzle and your bed heat up super fast. You're gonna get a auto leveling experience that kicks off first, which I really appreciate to give you the best, uh, I would say, first layer, and that's gonna drive everything else. You'll notice that you do have a drag chain here in the top and you have your little tube here, and this is where your filament is gonna go in. There is no filament tube lock here, right? So typically there's a little uh, pressure gauge that goes here or a little pressure clip that actually keeps um, this lock into place. This one doesn't have it, right? So this just goes in place and it really is just about guiding the actual filament into the actual uh, drive. Now, this also has one of the easiest removal systems when it comes to the actual print nozzle, right? No tools required, and I absolutely love it. Now, you'll notice that the actual bed leveling exercise is going through right now, so it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna do a multi-point level check. And as it's doing that, you'll notice that you have over here a fan as well. Um, it's well lit. So I find having no problem at all being able to see what I'm printing. Unlike sometimes you can complain with the Bamboo Lab that you really can't see things and people are always adding lights. I found that I have no need for additional lights here. And also I find that the uh, actual recordings themselves are well lit too. All right, so this is where you can actually see the actual speed in this printer. And we're getting an overhead look, but at the same time, this is doing one of those time lapses. This is fast. And more importantly, the quality is what you would expect uh, from, again, a printer of the quality of the adventurer. Now, we're gonna let this continue to run, and one of the things I wanted to do is I'm gonna cover the actual printer. I'm gonna close it up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the overall noise levels again, because I just wanted to show you, this is the one thing that I'm so impressed about this printer. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Isn't that crazy? Very, very low noise, and I'm really close to it. If you were to walk away from this, and let's say I have this in my island and I will sit at our dinner table, this is, will just disappear with the rest of the noises in the house. That's how quiet this printer is. 
Now the other thing that you're going to notice, in addition to the touch display, you do have a power button and you have a USB button. Anytime you load a print, it's going to copy it from the USB and store it in memory. I really like that, especially if you want to do repeat print jobs. Now here's a side view of the printer. Notice it doesn't really take up a lot of footprint. And the other thing that I like about this is that I don't really have the, the constant vibration and shaking that I have with a Bamboo Labs printer. So that was something else that I really enjoyed about this. It, there's, you'll notice even at the spool, you don't see the spool shaking, going crazy. It's actually going pretty smoothly as it's loading filament. Now on the back of the printer, what you're going to notice is a couple things. First of all, you have an Ethernet port, you have your power switch, and you also have your power cord. Uh, you have here your filament spool load. One of the things that I would have loved to see is to see this filament spool loader on the side as opposed to the back. It just gets, it's difficult to get to it to the very back, but I'm fine with that. This works out. I am using Polyterra uh, PLA, and this is matte. Um, I really like the finish that I get from this, and I'm going to show you some of the prints that we work on that are part of our Etsy store. Now, in addition to the print samples that I showed you, I just want to show you um, how clean these prints are. So these are some of the things that we sell on our store. This is a jig that we use for laser printing. And what we pride ourselves in is having high quality prints. So you'll notice here, you know, this is clean, really, really clean. And this is right off the printer. Right? So you, and by the way, there's no supports, right? The printer works so well. So this is the piece. This is one of, let's say, six pieces that come together for um, one of our store items. And I love the fact that these come out. They come out the same. They're repeatable. And as I compare this to my Bamboo Lab Series printers, it fits with the overall finish. So this is, you're going to get a great finish from this printer. Now the cool thing about this printer is not just the fact that it's quiet, that it's also fast, but that there's quality. And you can see here how fast this printer is going. And the cool thing about this is that we've been able to replicate a lot of these speeds in some of the prints that we are actually making. So um, that's also something that I really like. So fast, good quality, and you can see that things are sticking well. And one of the things I will say that works really for us is having good filament. Now, this filament, uh, I did test uh, Flash Forge's fast filament, and that works really well. Uh, we kind of lean towards Polymaker because of the consistency and the stuff that we print. And that filament is not high speed filament, but the quality that we're getting out of this is spot on. All right, guys, so that was super fast. Let's take a look and see what this is going to look like. I'm just going to take it off. And again, this was just printed. Let's see, make sure we get this in focus. Check that out. All right, that it was at the fastest possible speed. Uh, it took 13 minutes to print. 13 minutes. That's not bad for 13 minutes. It has some layer lines right there, but keep in mind you're doing 13 minute prints. See how that looks right there? Not bad for a 13 minute print. Check it out. You can see it right there. Make sure that comes out nice and clear for you guys. Again, 13 minutes. So overall, what is my recommendation for this printer? This printer is an absolute buy. Absolute buy. It's easy. You can get it working immediately. There's no tinkering. All you have to do is remove those two screws that are there. Let's go ahead and open this up. So you'll notice that there's a couple points right here that when you get your printer, all you have to do is remove the screws. You'll see them all indicated with uh, this little arrow. And it has a HEPA filter. So you see the filters right there in the back, which means it's going to be safe for use inside the house. You're not going to get any odors. There's no smell whatsoever. And like I said, it's super quiet. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.